Okay, so explain what happened in Milwaukee recently around here. All right, what happened in Milwaukee, right? Uh, everybody knows somebody uh, got killed. I don't know that guy named a guy in Minnesota got killed, whatever. So what happened was they stopped protesting, right? So they start coming down here and down Sherman protesting. So that night, they'll start breaking stuff, breaking out windows. That's why stuff is boarded up now. You know what I mean? They was uh, they broken Boots Mobile. I mean, this, th these are businesses. They say Black Lives Matter, but these are businesses that own. You know what I mean? This is owned by uh, a Chinese guy, but this is the black community, man. You know what I'm talking about? Like, I went to uh, Dollar General, and they, they it, it was closed because due to a fire. You know what I mean? And, uh, and an old lady, that's all she got. You know what I'm talking about? So, man, it was, it was look, over there. It, it, even over there, they broke in that store. You know what I'm talking about? And, and the abuse along right next to it, they broke in that one. And what's the, what store is that? That's a beauty salon. That's okay. uh, a, that's another beauty salon. That's a uh, that's a, a independent owned store by um the Arabics. You know what I'm talking about? Right. It's independent. They ain't got much money. I used to work for them. So they broke in that store. They took stuff. You know. And and they get along fine with the the black people. Yeah. They they in the black community. Okay. You know what I'm yeah. talking about? So they yeah. got no power with black people. I used to work for them. Right. So. I mean, it, it's crazy, man. But all these other businesses, you see, Wendy's ain't boarded up. Wendy's is not boarded up. Right. You know? <laughs> Stuff like this, this, now this here, they're assholes in that gas station. They not boarded up. You know what I mean? But they, but see, they mess with people that is messing with the black community. You know what I mean? They is, look, they show us love, man. You know what I mean? But the, but, but black people going crazy, man. They going fucking absolutely nuts about some shit that happened in another state. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, the fuck going on, man? This is Milwaukee, man. You fucking up your shit. You're breaking down stuff. You know what I'm talking about? Grandmothers can't go to the store no more because you're burning down stuff, man, you know? And this is sad, man. It's sad, man. Who, who was it that did the rioting? Could you tell? I mean, it was a bunch of people. It was it was a whole lot of them, man. I, mean, I almost got beat up, man, coming from work. You know what I'm talking about? I almost got beat up, man. I'm getting off the damn bus. And they're talking about, they brick, they brick their, uh, that's when they built the Boost Mobile store. And they said, get them. I had to run home. I'm black. <laughs> Fuck you, <laughs> me. <laughs> Black lives matter. I'm fucking black. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> yeah. Shit. I ain't respect that shit. What the fuck wrong with y'all? You know what I mean? Like, I'm sorry for cussing on camera. No, it's alright. But man, this is crazy, man. Like, God, God, Lord, they just picking on any old, any old body, man. Like, it's an excuse. I feel it is. It's an excuse. You know, what I'm talking about to do something. Man, I don't know what. Like Father's Day, man. They post this and everything like that. You know what I'm talking about? And I had to get. Um, I had to protect myself. Like, look here. I'll show you. See that right there? I gotta protect myself, man. Because I'm, look, I'm just a man that got a family that's trying to survive. But I'm not gonna let nobody do nothing to me, man. It's crazy in Milwaukee right now. You know, it's crazy. I was talking to the, you know, the pastry shop, uh, pastry place. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I was talking to that lady, and she was who works there, and she was saying that um, the clothing store down the street got. Yes. Broken into, and that's a black-owned yes. yes. clothing store, and they took everything. Yeah, I mean, look, it's, it seems like they're saying Black Lives Matter, but they is pinpointing the black people. You know what I'm talking about? They pinpointing the black stores. You know what I mean? Like Mac down the street, the store named Mac down the street. They got him. You know what I mean? They broke his store. What kind of store is that? It's just a regular store. They cook. They on Sunday they cook soul food. It's a regular store. It's black owned. Right. You know what I mean? Like uh right and right down the street from um Max's of uh, Steve's. You know? They broke his store. He's an Arabic guy, but he is he's not really Arabic, he's black. <laughs> you know what I'm yeah. talking about? Like type stuff like that. And when when stuff was really going down like that first night or two, what were the what were the police doing? I didn't see no police. I didn't see no police at all. I didn't see that one cop. I didn't see that one cop, man. And that's crazy. I didn't see that one police officer. Was that surprising that they wouldn't get involved like that? No, it's not really surprising because, okay. you know, I mean, they always come when, when, uh, like, down here in Milwaukee, because I'm from New York City. Okay. And it's all over the same thing. They bullies, man. But when you got a bunch of people doing something at the same time, they can, they eating. Whatever they eat, I don't. I don't they eat donuts no more. They eat collard greens and rice. You know what I'm talking about? And that damn priest right there, they ain't doing shit. After the shit, was that, after the chaos was calmed down, about three o'clock in the morning, you see them going crazy, ambulance and police and. But when it was going on, you didn't see nobody. These motherfuckers, man, breaking this shit. People, I know people got hurt. You know what I'm talking about? 
but you hit that one side. You said they were throwing bricks and stuff? They were throwing bricks. That's how they get out of the store. They throwing bricks. Boom. With crowbars. Hitting. Breaking windows. You know what I mean? They didn't care. They went in Foot Locker. And bro, they like it went in Foot Locker in midtown and, and just start grabbing stuff. You know? Right. Walmart. They start grabbing stuff, man. People is like really scared right now. They got to be cautious. You know? Man, it's crazy, man, out here, man. And how do how do people generally feel about what happened? I mean, when you they pissed. It's because it's a lot of young people, man. Like, you know what I mean? People that's doing it, it's a lot of young people and older, irresponsible people. You right. know what I'm talking about? But people pissed. The people, you know what I mean? The working class people, they pissed. They can't go to the stores. And like, the stores they used to go to, they couldn't go there because it was closed. They were scared. They were saying... Do the fire and do the this, do the they, they were scared, man. They weren't doing nothing, man. And, that's and, and that cl that clothing store, the lady told me, had only just reopened after the virus. Right. It's just that's a, how I And then right after they reopened, this happened. That's how a lot of that, that's how a lot of stores was. Like this store, it opened after the virus. You know what I'm talking about? They had to blow their stuff up. That's extra money coming out of their pocket. You know? To protect them. To protect the store that was here since I was a kid. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Do you understand? Yeah. Come on, man. This is Mr. Oh, uh, Mr. Brian Stall. Y'all ain't his real name because he's Chinese, but his name is Mr. Brian. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? It, it's crazy, man. I, 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 I really don't understand it because they saying uh, Black Lives Matter and all this stuff, but man, you, you hurt you, man. You hurt the black community, man. Right. If, if, if Black Lives Matter, man, then why you hurting? It? You know what I'm talking about? Why you hurting, it, man? Why we hurting it? And it, it, it makes it so crazy. Again, I'm gonna say it didn't even happen in this city. Right. But this city's going absolutely nuts. I mean, even Minnesota stopped. They just burned the fucking precinct down. They said, okay, fuck it. You know what I'm talking about? They still doing this bullshit. You know what I mean? And it's, it's hurting the community, man. It's hurting everybody, man. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. And the police ain't really doing shit about it. Nobody getting locked up for the shit. You know what I'm talking about? Nobody. Maybe I'm not familiar enough with Milwaukee police, but it just seems a little strange to me that the police would be so uh, lackadaisical in enforcing some of the laws around this. No, or is it typical? I mean, look, they do what they want to do since since since, I, since I've been in Milwaukee. You know, okay. They they fuck with people that only be fuck with. Like me, I lost my job, so right now I'm trying to find a uh, little side job to do whatever like that. You know what I mean? I got a, a damn bed. They gonna fuck with me for that? Oh, he got a bed. Pull him over. Meanwhile, somebody's getting robbed. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? So they focus on the petty stuff. They focus on the petty stuff because, you know what? This this city is, is chaos right now, man. It's fucking chaotic. They, far as they, they protested. I understand you, po you know what I'm saying? You protested as far as they, whatever. But I had to protect myself on that same thing. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Hey, the police don't do shit, man. They don't do nothing, man. You know what I'm talking about? I mean, some of them try. Some of them, I ain't gonna say all of them, you know what I mean? Some of them do try, but it's only a handful of them, man. Because if they was on their job, man, look, this right now, the police is down the street. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Look, the store's right here. Come on, man. You know what I mean? Come on, man. Like, he's right down the street from the store. Even the store, close street from the precinct, they had to close down. That store, oh, this, uh, this is a clock station right there. They had to close down. 20 young um, um, um boys went up in there and they start grabbing stuff. You know what I'm talking about? Right. They start grabbing stuff, beat people up and stuff. That's right across from the police said, Did the police come? No. They did not come. I was there. <laughs> That's crazy. They didn't come. They did not come. And it's right across the street. You know what I'm talking about? What do you think is the long term impact on these areas Well, from what happened? It's kind of calmed down now. Right. It's kind of calmed down. So I think the long term is it's gonna get back normal, but I really, I hopefully get back normal, but I doubt it will because of all the COVID stuff and people lost their jobs and you know what I mean. People was like under a lot of pressure, you know what I mean, and a lot of people don't know how to handle. It. Right. A lot of people just ain't mentally fit to handle that stuff. And the su and then the summertime stuff gets crazy anyway. It's gonna get crazy in Milwaukee in the summertime anyway, but it's gonna get it's gonna be really more crazy because. A lot of, except a lot of jobs, they can't come back from the COVID. You know what I'm talking about? They can't right. come back. You know what I mean? Like they, they just can't afford it. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Because it's gonna be this every year. Is a and bad now because of this, maybe the insurance rates go up or yeah. something like that. Yeah, this every is a bad every anyway. Yeah. You know what I mean? This is a this is a drug and prostitution. Right. So it's already bad. 
around here. But, it's, it, but it seems like it got a little bit more worse. Right. It got worse. It got worse. I mean, man. And do, you th th and do you think the media gave this enough coverage, what happened around here? Because I, has it, have you seen they it covered? No coverage what happened around here. Right. Not one, I ain't seen not one news camera around here. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Hey, look, and they post that down on Sherman. They, they, they come up Lisbon, or wherever they come from, because I live around the corner of Sherman and Lisbon. And yeah, they come right there, and they, they like a, they stop traffic. You do not go to work and shit like that. They stop all that shit, man. Just post that some shit that happened in another state. I don't even really get that shit, man. It's crazy to me. I don't really understand it at all. Yeah. You know? I understand they talking about, oh, yeah. Black lives matter, but you're hurting us. You're hurting the black community. It's black people hurt. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Like, that, and, and that, that don't make no sense to me. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm a logical guy, man. I'm 46 years old. So, I think logical. That don't make no sense. Yeah. You know? All right, what was your name? My, my name is Tony. Good to meet you. Good to meet you too, man. What's your name? Mike. Mike. All right, Mike. Yeah.